my little... Little? Hello, my little gremlins! Um, first off, I want to apologise for only posting once last week. I really wasn't in a good place. Really not in that great of a place now, but last week I just, like, didn't want to get out of bed. So I just didn't. I was, like, real depressed. But that's kind of linked to this video. Uh, before I get on with the topic of the video, if you want to do it, you can subscribe to my channel and, like, follow my Instagram and, like, follow my, you know? If you want to do that, the links will be in the description below. I'm also selling merch to fund my top surgery, so if you want to help out, there's also a link. So, yeah, I'm guessing you guys can read. I don't know if that's true. Maybe there's people that can't read. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. But, yeah, the topic of this video is egg freezing. Um, if you follow me on social media, like Instagram, you know that I had the egg freezing procedure on Saturday. Um, yeah, by the way, I know my hair's not greasy, it's wet. And also, just a disclaimer, I am not a professional egg freezer. I, I don't know my stuff on this as well as maybe medical professionals. I'm not claiming to know everything, I'm just trying to put across what happened to me, my experience with it, and maybe that'll help out you guys. Maybe some people want to get their eggs frozen. If you're only here for the videos of me looped up after the procedure on the, the drugs they gave me, that starts at this time. Sounds good! So, egg freezing. Uh, why did I do that? If you don't know what eggs are in relation to the reproductive system, you're probably too young to be watching this, so like... See ya. <laughs> Pretty much, in order to have a biological kid, you gotta get the egg and the sperm and then... Pow! Ow! Pow! <laughs> When most people have biological kids, they get a girl and a boy, and they do things, unspeakable things. They do things, and then they make a baby, and then the woman gets pregnant, and then she shoves it out of her body, and then you have a child. The thing is, I'm transgender. I'm gonna go on testosterone in like a month, maybe just over a month, um, the male hormone testosterone. And pretty much, if I take testosterone, it means my eggy system will stop working for as long as I'm taking testosterone. And that means I can't get pregnant. By the way, I was never planning on getting pregnant. I'm, I'm never gonna get pregnant, but I just need the eggs to have biological kids. So yeah, testosterone stops the eggy process. Um, it doesn't make you infertile, but it, you know, it's easier to get the eggs when, when the eggs are flowing. If I started testosterone without doing this egg thing, and then I decided in the future, hey, I want biological kids, I would have to stop testosterone, which one, would make me feel terrible. And two, I would have to start Estrogen injections, which is injecting like hormones that stimulate estrogen in your body, and that, that would just make me feel terrible. Especially after going on testosterone and seeing all the changes. So what I decided to do was get my eggs frozen before I start testosterone, keep them keep them in a the fridge somewhere until I want to have my own babies, in which case you get the eggs out the fridge, put it in a surrogate mother, mix it with my really fit boyfriend or husband, who I will definitely have. Um, yeah, mix my little eggies with his little spermies, uh, put it in some woman, thank you very much, future woman, and then she'll have the biological kid that's, no, she'll have the kid that is biologically mine and mm, my beautiful man. If you summarise it, pretty much, you give given injections that stimulate your egg follicles, and then, you know, you get a needle to take them out and then you freeze them. So, a lot of people are asking me how much it costs. Now, in a lot of places, the NHS, which is the healthcare service, um, in a lot of places, they'll fund this treatment, but because of where I live, for some reason, it's, it's not funded. So I had to go privately, which meant I have to pay for this. Um, it is expensive. It's very, very, very expensive. It was, it was a few thousand pounds. I paid for most of it. I had to borrow some money from my parents, which I'm going to pay back. But yeah, it costs a lot. If you want to look up the clinics near you, they'll tell you how much it costs on the website. So before I decided to do all this egg freezing stuff, I was saving up money for top surgery, which is something that I really need, um, but I pretty much spent all that money on egg freezing, so great. Again, if you want to help me out for the top surgery money, I've got merch in the description below. I might start a GoFundMe if that's cool with you guys. I, I, I don't know if I should or not. So say you've decided to get your eggs frozen. The first thing you do is you go to your GP and you're like, hey, want to get my little eggsicles frozen? Am I funded in my area? If you're me and you're unlucky, the answer is no. No eggs for you. So what I did is I looked up clinics near me, like fertility clinics near me, um, saw if they did egg freezing, this one did, and then called up and made an appointment. So at your appointment, you have some scans. They're not my scans. You can look up what scans you have. They're their scans. Um, they scan your ovaries and your uterus and your eggs. You also have blood tests to find out your hormone levels, see if you have any STDs. I um, I told them I didn't need 
that 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 test i've no, i'm a virgin <laughs> believe it or not but i still somehow had to get those uh those tests so after you've had all these tests and the results come back you've had the scans you can start the process so pretty much in order to get your eggs all readied up for a uh, uh, removal and freezing uh you have to take certain medications that will make sure that your egg follicles are ready to be removed so there's three kind of medications that you take the first one is follicle stimulating hormone um, that will make your egg follicles grow big enough for a... For them to... It, it, it makes them grow to maturity. The second medication that I had was luteinizing hormone. It pretty much just made sure that you didn't ovulate early. So like the eggs were still in there, they didn't come out. And the third injection was a trigger shot, which pretty much... I'm not entirely sure what it does. I think it makes you ovulate, but you take it 36 hours before the procedure. So unfortunately, if you're not that fond of needles, you're gonna have to suck it up. <laughs> you're, gonna, you're gonna have to suck it up. You have to self-inject every night for in between like one to two weeks, depending on how your body reacts to the medication. Um, I had to inject for like a week and a week and a bit. So pretty much the medication that you take every night is the follicle stimulating hormone. It's, it's in this little pen. It's like an insulin pen. It's pretty easy. You just, you twist to see how much you want out of it and then you inject it. This is my needle jar, by the way. They didn't give me a sharp spin, thanks. Um, but I just kept it in a little, like, curry sauce jar. That looks dodgy, but... So yeah, you inject this into, like, subcutaneous tissue, which is fatty tissue. I don't have much of that, so it hurt. Sometimes I stab my muscle, because it, it, I don't have enough fat. Um, I did it in my belly. But this stuff, I, I hate this stuff. I had terrible side effects, I, I hated it. One of the side effects was bloating. Um, you're probably familiar with bloating, you know, when you feel like you feel a bit big, you're like, oh, I hate this. Uh, yeah, the, the, I was so bloated. I have never been that large in my entire life. Um, your eggs, your egg follicles are normally like six millimeters, seven millimeters normally when you're on your period. Mine were 22, 22 millimeters. I have 30 egg follicles that were 22 millimeters inside my stomach. It was like a bunch of grapes just hanging there, just, just swinging around in my body. And I'd complain about it. I'd be like, hey, this makes me want to die. I feel like I'm going to explode. And people would be like, oh yeah, I've been bloated before. It's the worst. But you don't understand. You don't understand. Here's a picture of my stomach before this started. Yeah, I'm skinny. I know. Let's, oh no, you're so skinny. Ha, ah, skinny legend. Sharp. Here's a picture of my stomach during the process. And I know I still look skinny, shut up, it's still big. There are grapes inside there. And that wasn't even me at my most bloated. I just stopped looking there for the last few days. I just wanted to die. So yeah, that's one side effect. Another side effect is that you're really hormonal because it increases your estrogen levels to really high, which is exactly what you want. Uh, yeah, I was really hormonal. I was really depressed, which I was talking about earlier on at the beginning of this video. I'm already depressed and you know, this didn't help. I was like really unmotivated, I couldn't do anything, and it's not just that I was like, hey, I'm too lazy. It was just like, hey, I just I just want to die, I just want to sleep forever. Um, you obviously get pain when something is growing that much inside you. It's pretty much like period pain, but worse. Being on this medication is like being on your period, but like three times as bad, maybe, maybe four times as bad. Um, the final side effect for me was, I don't, obviously not everyone that does this gets this, um, dysphoria. I already have like really bad gender dysphoria, and like when I say really bad, I mean really bad, like it's bad. But this medication, it, it, it bloats you, which doesn't feel that great, but it also, um, you retain water more when you have it, so you were bloated. But you got more water here, and it made your hips look bigger, and it was just grim. And considering the fact that I had to drink three litres of water a day, a day, three litres of water a day, there was, there was, it just wasn't, I didn't enjoy it. So yeah, that's follicle stimulating hormone. I'll give you a video here of the first time I injected it. Yep, I'm filming. That should do that. Yeah. Okay. Don't look at it. Okay. I have to look at you, Bella, and I've been doing it myself. Okay, um... Done? Um, the second injection was the luteinizing hormone that you took, like, a few days before the procedure, like, before they take them out to stop ovulation. 
it pretty much it comes in a little bottle and there's like powder in there and then you take out a needle and you mix it and it's not fun but yeah i'm not sure if that gave me any side effects i was i was just just i was dying at that point i was just like i don't i don't care and then the final injection is the trigger shot now you only get given the trigger shot when your like egg follicles are big enough to be removed as in like they are mature enough um the trigger shot is just it's just another needle it's it's just a normal needle when you think of needle you just think needle you know so 36 hours after you've done your trigger shot you go into the clinic and that's when they remove your eggs but you're not allowed to eat or drink for six hours before the procedure which i thought would be fine but i eat and drink constantly so i was like i, was, I got out of bed and i was like so when you get into the clinic, they bring you into your little room, you sign some consent forms, yeah, you can violate my body. They took my heart rate and blood pressure, um, and then they dress you up in little robes, well, you dress yourself up in little robes. I didn't know you had to be completely naked. Um, you have to be completely naked. So here's me in my robes, and I, uh, yeah, I was really anxious on that day because I'd never been under anaesthetic. I'd never had surgery. I was really nervous and anxious. I was like nearly having a panic attack. But they gave me these ugly little shoes. And uh, they were so ugly that I cried. So here's a picture of my shoes and me crying. So then after you dress up, you sign your consent forms, you're ready. You go into a room. They give you they give you an IV, which hurts more than I thought. They didn't give me any numbing cream. Apparently people do that. Um, they shoved that in. That wasn't great. Then they gave me a gas mask, an uh, uh, oxygen mask. I was laughing, apparently. Um, and then, you know, they inject you with your anaesthetic and then you're under. I'm not going to explain to you the process of egg removal. It's nasty. You can look it up. I don't feel comfortable talking about it. I just don't want to talk about it. But yeah, after five or ten minutes, they'll be done and then they'll will you out of the room and you'll get back in bed. And then, obviously, with your eggs, they freeze the mature ones. The ones they take out that aren't mature, I think they just discard off. But yeah, that's the whole procedure done. Your eggs are frozen children after the procedure i was very loopy i was in pain like it was i felt like someone had reached down my throat into my uterus gripped it and just shook me around a little bit just um yeah it really hurt but i was on some strong painkillers so it's a few days after it now and i still feel a bit of pain like in my stomach it feels like there's like someone's jabbing me from the inside um it's a bit like period pain but yeah, I know most of you are here for this video, so here's like a 10, 11 minute video of me just being off my head. Mm. You're dozy. Yeah. You're really dozy. I thought, I thought first, first. Say again? I'm so confused. You're so confused? Okay. You will be confused. You'll come out of your flu bed in a few minutes. That's so weird. What? That's so weird. It's so weird. It's all asleep for more. <laughs> Say again? It's all asleep for more. No, you're awake now. You were asleep. I'm so confused. Oh. Have a sleep anyway. Have pee fingers is annoying. Oh. I slept so well. Say again. I slept so well. You slept so well. Oh, that was a, that was good then. I'm so confused. I don't. Don't remember going to sleep. They put oxygen in my mouth, but my head's too small. <laughs> and I was falling off. I feel my stomach. Are they gonna give me more painkillers? Yeah, they will in a little while. It takes a little while for it to wor start working though, and then they'll give you some more. Oh, I feel my t tummy is bruised. Yeah, they said that you'd feel that way for a bit. What the fuck? I just don't remember that. What don't you remember? I they put oxygen mask on my face, it was too small. And it was like sticking down my neck and then they put it. And then you were just like, bye. Oh, that's annoying. Turn that off. I can't turn it off. 
Oh. Feels like I'm punching the stomach. It's like. I'm club stomach. Am I crying? Is it tear? It's like when club punches me in the stomach. Club? But worse. What oh, hurts? Like you're gonna give me fake it. Yeah. Don't push your stomach. <laughs> My lips are so crusty. Hey? My lips are so crusty. Okay, I'll get you some. What I'll do is I'll put some water and some tissue. Um, yeah, I'll your mouth is really dry. I'll check with the nurse. I'll check with the nurse. Don't be upset. I'm not upset. Do I look good at <laughs> one of my eyes is tired. <laughs> one of my eyes is tired of the other. Yeah, have some more drink. Oh. This is <coughs> they say I won't fight. Yeah, you're fine. They say you were fine. It's all fine. I know. We'll stop soon. Yeah, but have they, are they gonna give me more painkillers? I think so. Okay, just the, the one that they've given you will take a little while to start working. And then they'll give you more to come home as well. How long did that take? How long did it take? You were only in there five minutes. Well, it's after you left, it was five minutes. It was literally five minutes she came in and told me that it was done. And then maybe it was five minutes. You were in there, well, you went in there. After I left, it was five minutes, and then they said that it was done, and then you came back in another five minutes. You've only so been, ten minutes. You only went away for ten minutes. So you've been sat here for ten minutes? Yeah. Does it feel like oh, all night? It really hurts. It's like period pain, but like... Really worse. Yeah. Open your eyes. Why is it funny? Open your eyes. You're really wide. Ah. <laughs> Does it hurt to laugh? Yeah. <laughs> Do I look bad? No, you look just dopey. <laughs> Don't make your hair look bad again. The leg machine was really. <laughs> The what? Leg machine was really funny. <laughs> when you, when you, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but when they put, when, when, when they, you put the mask on and gave me the medicine to go to sleep, you start, well, just as you started to go to sleep, you, start, you were laughing your head off. Did you film it? No, I couldn't. Oh. But you were laughing, you were like laughing. <laughs> you could, this is really funny. I've never been high before. <laughs> Does that make me straight edge anymore? Is what? No, I find straight edge anymore. Hello? Who's scowling at me for? <laughs> You film me, I would You film me, a ginger biscuit. Yeah. Don't <laughs> laugh, you make me laugh. I feel weird. You feel weird? Or that was so weird? I'm waking up. No, it doesn't matter. No, what? It doesn't matter that you don't remember. It's because of the drugs. And they wheeled me in. Did, how did they get me on the bed? Off the bed. You said that was in the wheelchair, or did they wheel me in, in here? They well, brought you back in here in a wheelchair. Well, how did they get me on the bed? On the bed? He got up, he on stood up. On the bed? He, he stood up and got on the bed. I stood up and got on the bed. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> he came in like this. He came in like, like this. <laughs> My left eye was twitching. <laughs> Don't laugh, you can make me laugh. Sorry. You've done good. You've done good. It's done. Out of the way. Finished. We'll find out what they got soon. Now, my mum was uh, so awkward when she came in. She's like, are you anxious? And I was like, yeah. And she just stood at me like... I was like, what are you going to say? He's like, 
My left eye still feels. <sighs> Am I allowed a water bottle? A hot water bottle? Yeah. I've got one. Where am I going to get a hot water bottle? Why are you cold? No, my tummy hurts. Oh. What happens if they didn't get any? What, well, didn't get any eggs? No. Of course they got eggs. What happens if we've got like two eggs? Two is two. Uh, two is enough for. No, it's not. How many do you, how many do you want? There's a 25% chance if you have four, but it'll work. Okay, well, we'll see what they come back with. Okay. They'll come in and say in a minute. Okay. What's the time? Mm. Um, quarter to one. Shut up. Yeah. Why, what time? That was so quick. <laughs> Imagine going on the tube. It'd be fun, wouldn't it? We should have done it. <laughs> <laughs> I can go and get the car as well. Yeah, I know. You, 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 we're going to be here another hour or so at least. Okay. You're going to be like normal when we leave here. Because you're really not normal now. You're, you're my little weirdo. Can I stop filming now? <laughs> <laughs> Bye for now. Wait, I woke up in there. Yeah. No, I didn't. You did. No, I literally didn't. They brought you back in here in a wheelchair. You were like a cripple. They <laughs> <laughs> put something in my bum. I've never had something at my bottom. Was it just sitting there? Huh? Is it just sitting there? They no, it dissolves. <laughs> it's like a. Uh, it's like a. It's like a. No. No, no, no it's no, like no. an alcohol, sir. No, 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 no. The orange stuff you drink in the morning. Oh, oh like, like yeah. The yeah, orange I, tablet. A, a Barocca. The Barocca. They <laughs> <laughs> put Barocca on my bottom. <laughs> I'm going to poo it out. I'm crying laughing, look, stop it. <laughs> stop laughing, it hurts. Stop. <laughs> That's a kinder egg. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Is it your kinder egg? Um, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, it really hurts. So yeah, that's the video. I hope you're informed or something, and I hope people aren't going to be asking me, "Hey, are you pregnant? Hey, so you're you're cutting off your penis." Yeah, I hope it clears up some misinformation or some misunderstandings that people might have gotten about air freezing. Um, feel free to ask any questions. Make sure they're not going to make me uncomfortable. I think, I think you'll know by now what's a good question and what isn't a good question. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. See you later, losers!